While you're there, would you show where the API documentation is? Yes. So the way I've organized our documentation is that we've got some simple day-to-day -day usage of thesis areas. This is so all of our skin documentation, for example, is housed under skins. We've got some general tutorials, and then we've got specific documentation relative to each skin. Uh, we've got some little bit different section here for the skin editor, which is a more advanced feature in thesis that gives you total control over your website and the output on it. Uh, requires a little bit of knowledge about websites to be able to use that effectively, but it is an extremely powerful tool. And then we have the hardcore developer documentation under the developing with thesis header. And uh, the API is probably the link that most of you will be interested in. So you click on that guy and then we've got various documents here on how to use the built-in stuff in Thesis. So for example, the Skin API, very useful page. It's a, it's a big page. It's a lot to kind of go through. Uh, I recommend if you're going to go down this path, I, first of all, I think it's super rewarding, but second of all, if you're going to do this, go through this document with an existing skin, like the Personified skin or Classic Responsive, open in your text editor so you can see how this stuff actually looks in a skin, in the actual code, uh, instead of just looking at it here, it's kind of obtuse to be reading it on this documentation page. But when you have that live example to refer to, it all starts to make a little bit more sense and you can see how it works together. Uh, Rick, did you have any thoughts on the API stuff? Um, no, I don't. Um, I, I, I refer to the API constantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. I, I mean, I think anyone who's developing, uh, these are, these are totally invaluable pages. 